Charles E's, Charles E's, everything you need to know. When you need to know it, man, tapping right back in with the people. I appreciate everybody supporting this, this machine, this movement, this extravaganza, this media extravaganza, man. Keeping me in the algorithms by hitting that like button, man. It's greatly appreciated. All my subscribers, old, new, present, future. You know it's appreciated, man. Let's get into it. Just want to spend a few minutes, man. Not much. Just chopping it up about Kyrie Irving, man. As we all know, Kyrie, he posted, he sent a link about a documentary about, you know, some history about a certain group of people. And he's kind of been, some people would say he's been black boy. He, you know, his, his contracts has been, I don't know if to say, suspended, temporarily suspended. He is suspended from the NBA. You know, uh, that's what we all know him as, superstar athlete. But but Kyrie, he's always been like kind of standoffish and on his own. And even last year, he didn't want to take that shot. They tried to say, yo, you can't play unless you take this shot. So Kyrie always kind of been on his own quest, man. Like a lot of us, we on our own quest, you know. But listen, everybody got opinions for Kyrie, what they think he should do, man. Listen, I can only get on here and tell Kyrie, Reed, do what's best, what you think is best for your family and loved ones, man. Because ain't nobody else got to live with that shit. Ain't nobody else going to have to suffer the consequences for that. But you and your family, bro. Real shit. All these other people that want to see you maybe maybe crash out. Not crash out directly, but they want to see you. They want to see you emotional. See, we love to see shit emotional anger. We love to meet anger with anger right off the dribble. We love to meet anger with something that's uncomfortable something that we don't go along with we love to meet anger with anger but anger is emotion emotions emotions is not always good man you know because your mind be cloudy off that emotion you know how they say the cooler heads prevail what they really mean by that once you get your thoughts together then you make a move you feel me once you get your thoughts together then be strategic. Then you can see where you really want to go, man. Kind of like, uh, hey, listen. If Kyrie today or tomorrow did issue an apology or whatever, he met those steps to get back to playing in the NBA, we can't be mad at him. That man got to do for himself what he think is best for him and his family, man. And that's, that's real talk, man. You feel me? This is, listen. We all like to live vicariously through people, man. And as much as we like to live vicariously through Kyrie for this moment, this might be Kyrie's truth. This this might not even be for Kyrie. Kyrie might not even be fighting for nobody but himself, his family, his ancestors, man. It's selfish of us to think that he's doing all of this for us, man. This might be this man's fight, man. You feel me? But... I can't say I want to see this man. See, we want to see everything is instant in the social media world. Everything is instant. Everything is rants, emotion, anger, impulse. That's not always good because that's what they want you to do. Impulse, emotion, anger. You can, you can see that coming and deal with it appropriately. But what you can't see coming is the thinking man, the strategic man. You feel me? You can't see that coming. Remember man. when, when uh, I believe it was Menace to Society. MC no, it wasn't the MC8. Was it Old Dog? I think it was Old Dog. He said, I'm America's Nightmare. He said, I'm young, black, and don't give a fuck. Well, actually, listen. Actually, America welcomes that. Because they can see that shit coming. You feel me? And they can make they... They plans ahead. They can make their moves ahead. You feel me? It's when you quiet. You feel me? It's when you reserve. People can your poker face is on. People can't tell what's going through your mind. 
like the spook who sat by the door. See, it's different ways to fight. But, and I can't tell, like I said, I can't tell Kyrie what to do. And listen, as much as we want to think this is for the people, this is Kyrie's truth. He got to live with this consequences. You feel me? Just like your truth and the actions you make, you got to live with, you got to live with those consequences. And the same for me, man. Listen, man. Listen, Kyrie, just, bro, whatever you decide to do, this best with you and your family, hey, that's what it is. You feel me? Because a lot of people with, with, a, with a lot less misery love company. So they don't mind. They don't mind that Kanye might have crashed out and threw away billions. Because now he on their level, stuck with nothing, miserable. You feel me? Hey. Kyrie, however you choose to fight this, bro, I can't do nothing but tip my hat to you, bro, because you got to live with them consequences. You feel me? You got to live with them consequences. Shout out for you definitely taking a stand. Anybody who's take who takes a stand in this world who's standing for something, hey, I salute you, man, because that's not something that's, that's easy to do, man. But Charles E., I'm getting out of here. Let me know what y'all think, man. Get in my comments. Holler at your boy. Subscribe, share, like. Tap in, man. You support my shit, share my shit, man. Tap in, leave a comment. That's my time until next time. Peace.